everyone. So we are here today for the SAT question of the day for August 26th, 2011. And uh, if you take a look in the upper right, you'll see that 60% of students uh, answered this one correctly. So kind of a medium level question. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. All right. In the figure above, which quadrants contain pairs x, y that satisfy the condition x over y equals 1? OK. Well, obviously, uh, in every quadrant here, so we have our first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant, uh, we have a mix of x and y values. right? Uh, of course, this is our x-axis, and this is our y-axis. Uh, so let's kind of go through each uh, quadrant and we'll talk about their properties. So in the first quadrant, you're always going to have a positive x and a positive y. So if we're going to have x over y equal 1, that makes sense uh, because uh, that way we're going to have a positive over a positive. Right? Um, in the second quadrant, though, we have a negative x and a positive y. So there's no way that x over y can equal 1 if one is negative and the other is positive. Uh, in quadrant 3, we're going to have negative x and a negative y. So that one's going to work, too. Kind of looks like a fate, doesn't it? Let me see if I can fix that. <laughs> um, so negative, negative, here I'll put that in parentheses, uh, that looks better. Okay, so that one's going to work too. Number one gets a check mark, number three gets a check mark. And then quadrant four, well, it's going to be a positive x and a negative y. So that one doesn't work. Uh, so the answer is going to be quadrants 1 and quadrants 3. And that is answer choice. <laughs>